the Denver Broncos and the San Francisco 49ers September 28, 2017 by verbatim staff during a visit to Alabama on September 22, President Trump claimed that the ratings for National Football League NFL games are down massively, which he attributed, in part, to players kneeling during the National Anthem. Point one our NFL ratings down massively average television ratings for NFL games fell 8.6% between the 2014 and 2016 seasons. The average viewership per game also decreased from 20.1 million to 18.9 million. In the two weeks since the start of the 2017 season, and prior to Trump's comments, average ratings decreased 12.6% compared to the first two weeks of the 2016 season, from 10.5 to 9.2. Average viewership decreased from 18.2 million to 16.1 million.234 background According to CNN, players from all 28 teams in the league that played Sunday, September 24 participated in some form of protest. Athletes from the National Basketball Association, Major League Baseball, and non-professional sports also engaged in protest. Point five. The practice was started at a 2016 preseason game by Colin Kaepernick, a former San Francisco 49ers quarterback. At the time, Kaepernick said, I am not going to stand up to show pride in a flag for a country that oppresses black people and people of color. Point six. While campaigning last week in Alabama for Sen. Luther Strange, who was later defeated in the Republican primary, Trump encouraged NFL team owners to fire players who refused to stand during the national anthem. Point one, the president also claimed that the public was tuning out the games because of players' disrespect of the anthem. In part, point seven, in response, NFL Commissioner Roger Goodell released a statement calling the president's comments divisive, adding that the NFL and our players are at our best when we help create a sense of unity in our country and our culture. Point eight, 2014, 2015, and 2016 seasons verbatim examined three years of ratings data for national NFL game broadcasts, as well as the regional broadcasts reaching the largest percentage of the country in a given time slot. Television viewership that is recorded by the Nielsen Company and presented in two forms a ratings score and total viewership. Ratings scores represent the percentage of households with a television that watch a specific program. Total viewership refers to the aggregate number of viewers watching a program across the country. Point nine, the website Sports Media Watch reports the Nielsen Television ratings scores and viewership data for NFL broadcasts. Point one zero, average ratings and average viewership increased slightly from the 2014 season to the 2015 season before falling in the 2016 season. Between 2014 and 2016, the average television rating of an NFL broadcast fell 8.6%. Average viewership fell 6%, from 20.1 million to 18.9 million. 2017 season when Trump spoke about NFL ratings on September 22, the league had completed the first two weeks of the regular season. 12 average ratings were 12.6% lower and average viewership was 11.3% lower in those first two weeks than the average for weeks 1 and 2 of the 2016 season. Average ratings and viewership in Week 3 after Trump spoke were 11.4% and 10.4% lower, respectively, than Week 3 of the 2016 season. 4213 Average NFL ratings and viewers Weeks 12 Week 3, 2016, 2017, 2016, 2017 Ratings 10.59.29.88.7 Viewers 18.216.116.7, Note Viewers in Millions Conclusion While visiting Alabama last week, President Trump claimed that NFL ratings are down massively. Point one between the 2014 and 2016 seasons, average television ratings for NFL games fell 8.6%. Average viewership also fell from 20.1 million to 18.9 million. In the two weeks of games prior to the president's remarks, the average ratings fell 12.6% compared to the first two weeks of the 2016 season, from 10.5 to 9.2, and average viewership declined 11.3%, from 18.2 million to 16.1 million. 2314 see also.